How's it going everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Yo and today we are playing Motor GP19 and we're going to be starting a fresh new career mode. As you see there, welcome to standard career mode. And today is something special for you guys. We'll be riding as the 2021 version of Valentino Rossi on the Patronus Yamaha. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys in a second. So as we just pick our favorite bike, it's obviously going to be the Yamaha. Even though I like almost every bike there, we're going to go straight with the Patronus. And you guys are going to see what I mean in just a second. So this is actually my first time playing a career mode, even though I've had this game for quite a while. And we are with Franco Morbidelli and... Oh my gosh, Fabio Cotuaro had a little mind fade there. So here we're going to go into the Sepung test. The Sepung winter test. And see how we go on the Patronus. Uh, I heard that there's a lot of anti-wheelie on the bike. A little front wheelie so um we should see how we go uh this time around um i will be amping the difficulty up to about a hundred um that's what i usually play on a single player i usually play on 120 or a hundred or so around that margin so not gonna make the uh my career any different if you guys have are visiting the channel for the first time consider leaving a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for more future videos. I will be doing every race of the season. So uh, from Qatar to Argentina and America and so forth. And um, I'm going to do one video for the Sepang test in the video. And then do another one for the Qatar race as we get into it. Taking a while on the loading screens. Alright. So there we are. Try the first development pack, go to the track, start a flying start. As you see, number 46 on the Patronus. Got the carbon uh, livery on the bike, as you see here. So let's see how this bike goes for the future Valentino Rossi. If he's going to join Patronus next year, I think he will. Oh, getting a bit of a wobbly exit there. And this is the wheeling that I was worried about. Hopefully it can keep it down and keep up with the bigger boys. So, Valentino Rossi, in my opinion, will be signing with Petronas next year. I think that he just wants a season worth of racing. I think last season, he didn't, he didn't not, nothing really happened this season. There's no races going on, so I really think that he wants a race. Uh, leave in the comments if you guys think Rossi is going with Patronus or do you think he's finished? I think he wants to retire. I personally think that he still wants more. I still think he's got the passion and we are slowly getting the hang of the bike. I see a huge wheelie there. Huge. And um, I'm still not 100% sure, I'm not going to lie, on how to do the development tests in order to get... Uh, some points to kind of upgrade our bike so we can kind of decrease the wheelie on this bike because I don't think we're going to stand a chance of winning the championship with huge wheelies like that. That is insane. And I know how to like control a wheelie manually but it's still going to be a hassle continuously up gearing when it could just be done by itself. And this already isn't the fastest bike in a straight line. As he struggle a bit coming around that turn. I'm going to come into this long chicane. This is one of my favorite turns here in Sepang. One of my favorite tracks as well. So many great moments on this track. We go a little bit wide. Should give us a bit of an angle, but... Okay. And we come into the back straight for the first time. Valentino and Rossi, tell me what you guys think. How is he looking on the bike? I uh, wasn't able to really customize his outfit completely but this is a rough idea of how we might look really slow exit there and we're gonna see what kind of time we get I'm gonna go one more time with this pack so we got a 2059 I'm gonna go one more I feel like that was like a siding lap for me I'm gonna go one more see if we can control that wheeling a bit better and see if we can control the f exit wobble there. Okay. 
So unfortunate that we didn't really get a race at the start of the season for Qatar. And the year is just going on. It's already mid-year almost in June. But that's just life really. We have really no control over what happens. You know, we just got to go with the flow and do what you got to do, I reckon. Uh, make do with what is. So we should see Valentino Rossi next year on the Patronus, I reckon. And uh, I'm anxious to see how he does. I obviously hope he does well. Um, and Quatuara, he'll be on the Yamaha. So that should be interesting as well. We come hard breaking into this turn. Miss the apex a little bit. Get a bit of a wider exit there. Coming up into this awkward right hander here. Okay, we do it better that time. As we come into the chicane, I definitely feel like this is a faster lap. I definitely feel like I'm going faster. Either that or, you know, when you've kind of already done a lap, you feel like it's quicker because you've already seen the lap. As we get a little moment there, onto the back straight. Keep that front wheelie down. I mean, it's not a bad bike. I, I played an uh, online match with the same setup, with the same... Uh, the same bike, same everything, and I got a couple of podiums in a row, and we have crashed out, and unfortunately, I don't have rewind on, that was definitely going to be a quicker, a quicker uh, time, I say we go once more, and we follow a Sparger, or maybe we have a little target to follow there, some re reference there, reference, As you go on a little bump there, I'm going to have to avoid that bump at the very end, that curve at the last turn. Because that just gets us as we go around the KTM of a Spargaro. His brother usually does well on the Aprilia, another bike that I really enjoy as well, the uh, Aprilia. As we come around the turn for the third time here. Try to control that wobble coming out of the turns. Go into second gear, coming around this little awkward right hand. I could have done that a bit better, but we managed to come out all right at the end. Coming into this tight turn, which you got to get right. You got to hit this apex pretty clean as we do. And the front wheel goes up coming out of the turns because you're kind of pushing. It's when you're pushing from a standstill, you know, like a, these slow turns here. The wheelie does really pop up, you gotta get it down. Let's come around this chicane. Decent angle there, decent uh, drive. A little bit of a wobble, what a weird angle. Oh, and we are down again. So we are struggling a bit as we return back to the pits. We're gonna try the second package. Struggling a little bit, uh, but we're going to see how we do, and we're going to go to development packs, going to go with the second one, and see how that goes for us. So pack one was a 2.059, uh, I do believe I can get a quicker time than that, and um, I just got to watch out for this last turn here, probably, probably put some more speed, you see if I go wide, I do get a better exit. But then you're, you're wide, so I'm going to have to make my mind up of how I'm going to battle that last turn. But here we go. Down the straight here for the second pack. And coming on the break. Pardon me, coming on the break. A bit of a wobble. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, and we're gone. Already, so not... A great start for us. We've crashed a few times. And, um... I wonder if it's got anything to do... With... See, I can... I feel the brake there, and that brake will go. The, the uh, back tire will go. I can feel it when I'm braking, so you can't really... Be generous with the brakes here. 
Let's see if I can get it right this time. You, if you've played this game, you can feel the tension when you know you have to let go of the brake. See, I can feel it biting right there, so that's where I crashed last time. Gonna have to be careful. As he pops a wheelie throughout that whole turn, it's wheeling like a mad there. Alright, so we're already slower than our last time. Slow down a bit here, coming into turn four. As we got a slow drive, come on, come on. Bit wide, turn five, we're gonna bring it back. Hit that nice apex, slow it down here. Okay, bit of a wobble. Alright, so we're sec about 0 0.1 of a second slower, quicker, oh my gosh. The wheeling on this bike is unreal. I think that's another reason I kind of swayed away from Korea is because there's just so much wheeling and you're gonna have to, I didn't really know how to do development points. If you guys can please leave in the comments how you can kind of get development points to put the anti-wheeling up because uh, I'm suffering right now with the wheeling and we are quicker so uh, we should see how we go okay so we're catching up to whoever that is in front maybe it looks like one of the LCR Hondas to my eye from this distance follow the line follow the line Oh my gosh, I struggled with that last turn. Okay, we're in the acceleration. We got a 204, so a time quicker. And I think that should be enough, guys, for the Sapung test. I think. I'm just thinking, should I add in the gameplay of the race, or should I split the videos and have the next, the Qatar race, in another video? But this has gone pretty quick, so we're going to go for another lap because we're already quicker. Let's see how I go here. See if I can get it quicker than a 204. The Ducati as well. The Ducati's got insane wheelie, especially in the career mode. And I'm catching whoever that is in front of us. It looks like one of the, uh... It looks like a Premac, actually. I think that's a Premac Ducati in front of us. Maybe Bagnaya. I'm guessing. Jack Miller, okay. So we're going to try to use Jack as a reference point for us. There's a bit on the gravel there, but that should help us with our exit, as it does. Okay, so we're catching him. So we definitely are speeding up. If we can keep up with the Pramac, it's a good sign for us. But uh, I had I had MotoGP uh, 18, and I uh, used to play a, a crap load of career mode. But on this game, I never really got a chance to really get into it. So um. Bit of an awkward turn there, out of turn number, whatever the last turn that is, it should be quick, oh, it's a 203, okay, so we're going to leave it there, alright, so we're going to leave it there, I'm just going to give you guys a little look at Valentino Rossi there, very nice, so we're going to end the game here, finish the test, and see how we go, we got 203 as our quickest time, so very nice. Uh, for us from a 209 to a 203 great improvement and we're going to stick with pack number two i don't know how pack number three must have gone but um i'm going to try to fit the guitar race in for you guys today so i think i'll name this video maybe uh sapung plus the guitar race i'm only going to put it to three laps i think that's all we really need i'm just going to see what the difficulty is on three laps Let's put it to 100. Okay. 
tire wear off of course and hop into the first race all right so you can get development points uh, by doing that and uh, I'm gonna turn the qualifying on turn this one off and turn this one off and start the session okay so this is gonna be a tad bit long for you guys Okay, so uh, one of my mates just uh, told me that she's unable to play online today, so it looks like I'm going to be playing some My Career today. I usually hop on GP to play some online uh, with her and my other mate, and uh, it's great fun playing with your friends, but um, unfortunately today she can't make it, but this should be fun to see how we get on for the Qatar Grand Prix for the free practice number one flying start and let's see how we go here in Qatar so there's Rusty for you on the Patronus Yamaha as we get a nice little turn a bit some wheelie there Get the wheelie down, so that's how my guy looks like on the bike. Pretty nice in my opinion as we come into the first turn. Let's see what kind of time we get compared to these other guys because this free practice is really going to show me how I'm going to match up to the guys I'm going to be competing with for the championship, such as Davizioso, Mark Marquez, and um, Alex Rins. Vinales, guys like that, I think they're the main guys, Valentino Rossi himself, almost forgot, so uh, we're going to see how we go, I'm usually pretty quick around this track, but we're going to see how we go, if this wheelie becomes a problem, then we are going to struggle a bit. Alright, I like to come a bit wide around here. Let's kind of bring it back nicely on the bumpy part of the track. Almost exceeding track limits there. So we come out of this turn, this is a very quick turn. Keep the wheelie down. So this is probably our quickest part of the track here because the bike kind of stays connected to the ground. Let's get a nice turn there. Okay. All right, very nice lap. This has been a very nice lap. I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of time I get. So this is actually my first time doing a free practice as well. This has been a very nice lap. It's performing definitely much better compared to the uh, test, Sapung test. And we got a 156. Seven, so that is the time that I want to see if other riders will compare to that, which I'm sure they will. But how fast or how quick, you know, like what am I dealing with? All right, so shut up. All right, so a bit wide there. We've got Jorge Lorenzo on the. Repsol Honda and we're gonna see if we can catch him kind of show us if we've really got the pace against the factory bikes I mean should be interesting to see and we're not doing too bad I'll tell you that okay we come around here take a bit of a wider angle The bike is not wobbling or wheeling as much as I thought, especially coming out of the exits. That I'm not getting any uh, tail swing at all as we approach. 
Lorenzo, and we catch him a bit wide there. Kind of didn't want to bump into him. I really can't, I can't be bothered restarting this lap because I don't have rewind on. Okay, so we are catching Lorenzo. What a drive. Let's see if we can beat him on the last corner. We'll give him a little bump. Although I don't think he's the guy I want to be battling with. Because he usually isn't at the front of the grid. All the pack in these in this game especially. Okay, so we got a 157, slower that time. Could it be because I'm focusing on Lorenzo and getting around him and not crashing into him, maybe. We're going to see now if we can get around him cleanly. Okay, he took a bit of a slower line there compared to... us. Oh, invalid lap. We're going to see what we get anyway. Oh, I don't think it's worth continuing with this free practice run here. I think we're done. No one's managed to beat our time so far. Could change in a bit. We still have to do qualifying, so I think this will be my last lap. Bit wide there. Get a good drive. I got a feeling this is going to be one of our slower laps. Yeah, definitely not as quick as I'd like. No, not as quick. I don't think we're going to get there in five seconds. No. Alright, so again a 157. Alex Rins a 156.6, so a hundredth of a second quicker than us. And has that motivated me for F1? More it has. So if you guys want to kind of... Oh, dear. I was just going to... Oh, okay. So we're going to leave free practice. We came third above Rossi, uh, the uh, 2019 edition, and we've got a 156.7, and uh, we're only a few tenths of a second off Alex Rins and Dovizioso, the qu one of the quicker riders in this whole game, so not a disappointing end there, but we should see how we go on free practice. Okay. So the first qualifying session, let's see how we get down. Okay. Let's go ahead. See how we do. Okay. So I should be able to start on the first row of the grid, but you know with the CPU their speed may change, varying on. The, varying on the, uh, oh my god, Robert. Varying on what kind of time it is, for example, the free practice. I, was, I managed to pull out a third play, so... I don't really know if that's a determination of how I'll go on qualifying, but we'll see how we go. Sometimes they're a bit quicker, I believe. And this Yamaha, I'm very surprised with how this Yamaha is performing so far. Maybe not so much on the tests, a little bit in the tests, but a huge amount of um, a 
surprise here in the tests on the on the track day so Okay, get a very tight line, not that much back wobble there as you can see. Get a side exit here, very nice. I was expecting a lot of wobbling from the bike. Get a nice line here, slow it down a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, so we're going to be catching... Who was that ahead of me? Bit of a weird angle there. Okay. Slow. Ooh, almost lost the rear. But that's okay. We're back on it. Accidentally shifted up for some reason. So I'm not going to get my free practice time. Oh, 156.9. Okay. So that, I know I can go quicker than that. Almost lost the rear there. It's Johan Zarko ahead of us. Okay, got a good drive there. And wide there. Not our best lap by far. We are quicker though, according to that little indicator at the top. We bring it back. No way this lap's going to be quicker, I don't think so. Get a nice line there. Oh, a bit of back, a little bit of wobble there, not that much. I'm surprised with how little the back wobble is for this Patronus. Okay, so I guess it's going to be the last lap of qualifying, then we're going to get into the race and uh, see how we go. It's been a long video, so uh, I can't, oh, it's not, it's a Spargaro. Okay, so, see if we can catch him, we're on the grass, ooh, got a good drive here, try to pick up some slipstream, and a 156.4, so a quicker time, as we managed to beat him on the brakes. So we're going to keep that time in the session. I think that should be enough to get us through. And we are second. Franco Morbidelli, our teammate, with a 156.3. I think I could have gotten a faster time, but I'm trying to speed up the video for us. Alright, so we're going to quickly do a lap of the second... Uh, we're going to do a lap only of the second uh, qualifying. I think that should be enough for us to get a good position. That's if Rossi and Dovi and all those guys don't get an insane time and we end up finishing 12th. I hope I just don't finish 12th from where I'm started. So hopefully somewhere on the first or second grid I'd be happy with. First, second or third I'd be absolutely amazed. Okay, so let's get on the straight. Very nice looking bike, I'll tell you that. Very big fan of Patronus. And how it's performing as well. Okay, we take kind of a wider exit to kind of get back in. And I believe that is one of the Dukes, Petrucci. Okay, so now we got a Ducati to kind of follow, which should be good. The quicker the bike, the better they are to follow. You have to kind of push yourself to catch up with them, which means you're going quicker as well. So a little tip for you guys. Got a quicker bike in front of you, try to chase him down. You're going quick as well, go wide. Okay, we don't get penalized for that, but that was a bit... 
out of shape there. As we try to follow Petrucci. Bit wide. Bring it back. Okay. Very nice lines here. Getting very close to the Ducati man. Interesting to see how Petrucci does in the 2021 season. Considering he's been in that Ducati for a while, we overtake him very cleanly. A bit wide of the line there, it's fine. Okay, we'll bring it in a bit. This should be a good enough time for us to just do one lap. I really want to get into the race. I'm not sure what the lap was on. I don't really check it. I think it was three. I hope it is. Alright, let's see how we go. Ooh, I don't think we're going to get any quicker than a 155 for us. Very nice. And that's going to be enough for us. I'm just going to move out of Petrucci's way. Oh, I just missed him. I think that's going to be enough for us, guys. Let's end the session. Oh, okay. So Mark Marquez hit a 155.2. That is pretty quick. We hit a 155.7. So we are competitive with the top grid, with the top people. And they're the people that I mentioned. Mark Marquez, Alex Lorenz, Andre De Vizioso, and Valentino Rossi. They're the people that I mentioned before. And they're the people we will be com competing with. So hopefully... We can stick with those guys, even beat them this race to start off our first rookie race. Okay, so let's start. Let's start our MotoGP debut on Patronus for Valentino Rossi. And we are going to see how we do from fifth on the grid. We are with the Top Guns for rookie. Let's see the kind of start we get. Not such a great start for us. And I think the wheeling has a big role as we knock the doctor's rear tire. But we're exactly where we want to be as Rossi now up the inside of us coming around turn two. Into turn three, we're going to follow Rossi. Come up the inside, give him a little bit of a nudge. We're up the inside of him. Of Rins as well. No, we have to pull out there. Oh, we are on the outside the track. Oh, almost hit Rossi. Oh, we get a track limit there. So not really clean for us. Rossi trying to get up the inside. I think he will take it, yep. Oh, we try to come back here underneath. He'll have the drive on that factory. Yamaha and our wheelie is popping up like anything. So we are actually 6th, so I think Rossi as well, he, he went back a position as well. But we should be able to catch them, I believe I can. Down this part here, these, these kind of right left handers where our bike is not wheeling. We should be able to pull up a couple of tenths on Rossi. As we do try to get up the inside of him, we got the inside line coming into that turn, but not able to push. As we push too much, and we are gapped from the rest. And you can see the big boys are up here. And I'm in the middle of the two packs, so hopefully I'm able to keep up with the pack in front of me, not the pack behind me. Push, 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 Yamaha, push. Come on, push, 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 come on. As Rossi goes right around, Alex Rins right in his way. Jack Miller set in the quickest time. Interesting, interesting, interesting for the Duke Ducati. The Pramac Ducati for Jack Miller. As we try to get a good drive here and try to catch up to Alex Rins. There's only three laps, so it's not a lot of time to really wait. you got to really push. When there's three laps, try to get a good turn. Oh, we're on the outside. Okay, so we're back in business now behind Alex Rins. And we keep going on the outside. I don't know how. 
I'm able to stop that. Knock Alex Rins, let him know that the rookie is here. And we got a good drive. I was expecting to wheelie there. Alex Rins comes in front of us again underneath us. Can we get underneath him? Nope, not able to. We should be able to keep the inside here. Oh, and we do. So up into P5 as Alex Rins. He goes a bit wide and he's back into P6. So we are into P5 now with the doctor ahead of us. Valentino Rossi. And I really don't want to make any strong contact with him. Very cautious when I'm riding behind the doctor. Maybe too cautious. Don't really want to make him crash or anything like that. Or make ourselves crash as Rossi takes a really interesting line there. Maybe try to overtake theirs. We get a good line, good exit line. We're on the outside of Rossi, but he's going to have the inside. We touch a bit. And he is right up against the rail. And we should be able to get the drive on our older brother. And we do. Oh, the wheelie though. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, and look at Alex Rins. Oh my god, I'm going to have to get in the way. Sorry, Alex. Oh, wow, did you guys see that? Factory Yamaha showing his little brother. You might have the skill, you do not have the legs, mate. So, doctor against the doctor. Wide again. Rossi up the inside of Davizioso. Battling it out for the last... Lap! We're wide again! All right, so try to keep it together. Ooh, that's going to cost us. But these guys are battling it out for first place. Mark is out in front. Another thing I've realized is that no one's crashed. Rossi up the inside of Jack Miller. As Jack Miller now falls back. Oi! And I think it's a P5 that we're going to be settling for if we don't get him down this third sector. Oh, a bit wide there, a bit on the rail! Alright, there's two corners left and it's going to have to be a P5 for us. Not really that much progress. We had Rossi there into P4. Maybe four, maybe three laps isn't enough for us as Miller goes wide. It's not going to really mean much for us. So we managed to pull out a P5 here in our first lap. Our first race. First debut for Valentino Rossi on the Petronas. He gets a P5 behind the big boys as you can see there. Not far off. Got a 156. So not able to hit the 155s. Uh, with the top three boys, Marquez, Andre Davizioso, and Rossi. Uh, let's see where else our Petronas guys went. Morbidelli came 10th. Quattuaro 12th. So we're in that top 10 almost. So there you go, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. For our first race in Qatar, meet us in the second race of the championship. And I'll see you guys in the next one.